Hi everyone, this is Dr. Anand Chintapalli, Consultant ENT Head and Neck Surgeon at Medicover Hospital Secretariat. How many of you all know about sinusitis? Well, before we address that question, let us try to understand briefly about the anatomy of the sinuses and their normal functioning. Paranasal sinuses are air filled cavities within our facial skeleton situated on either side of our nose. Maxillary sinuses within our cheekbones, the ethmoidal air sinuses on either side of our nose in between the eyes, the frontal sinuses within our, uh, within our forehead bone and the sphenoid sinus well, far behind. Now what are they there for? What is their functioning? Paranasal sinuses, they uh, filter the air which we breathe in uh, or inhale and they humidify the air that we inhale before they reach our lungs. Now, what are they for? Uh, paranasal air sinuses, uh, apart from a few other functionings that they serve, uh, they essentially humidify the air that a person breathes in and uh, filter that air before they reach our lungs. Now, what happens in sinusitis or what exactly happens in sinusitis? Paranasal sinuses are supposed to be patent always uh, to serve their functioning of uh, filtering and uh, humidification of the air that we breathe in and the whatever secretions that are secreted from them are thereby drained out uh, through a specified drainage pathways uh, so that they are uh, eliminated from the sinus system. Now it is when this system of drainage, uh, drainaging the sinuses uh, is affected or gets hampered, the uh, collections whatever that are secreted from uh, or what are secreted within the sinuses, they get pented up and they get uh, filled up within the sinuses causing inflammation of the mucosa lining the sinuses and causing thereby all the symptoms that most of us uh, are probably aware of. What are the causes of sinusitis? There are many uh, causes causing, I mean the factors uh, causing sin uh, sinusitis to develop and also many uh, preformed factors or risk factors that we can say uh, which uh, make it likely that the sinuses get inflamed and thereby developing into eventually sinusitis. Preformed anatomical conditions. Uh, like deviated nasal septum uh, and enlarged uh, turbinates and uh, allergic conditions and uh, exposure to uh, dusty environments and smoky environments, exposure to uh, uh, chemical fumes at uh, working places, these all eventually uh, are the factors which make our sinuses likely to end up in sinusitis. These uh, conditions, they make uh, the uh, sinuses uh, difficult to drain the collections within them and they eventually uh, make the uh, sinus surfaces favorable or suitable for bacterial infections and also in some cases fungal infections to develop. So what are the signs and symptoms of sinusitis? Sinusitis can present uh, in many ways most commonly uh, by with uh, running nose, nasal stuffiness, nose blocks, itching eyes, watering eyes apart from many other and also post nasal drip and dry cough. Now these symptoms are mostly which uh, we all experience during an episode of cold. Now that is the reason why most of the times uh, if not always chronic sinusitis uh, is brushed aside uh, presuming to be a common cold and eventually end up in a more graver situation. And well, there are other uh, symptoms uh, to sinusitis like headache, heavy headedness, uh, facial pain, fullness of uh, 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 the face, ear pains, throat pains, that is pharyngitis and so on. Now, how do we diagnose sinusitis or uh, when should we approach the concerned specialist, an ENT surgeon for uh, addressing this problem. 
any of this uh, symptoms either single or or with occurring with other symptoms as well in conjunction persisting for more than a certain period of time should never be neglected presuming to be a common cold and definitely should be uh, uh, addressed by any anti surgeon now how do we treat sinusitis these conditions need to be thoroughly evaluated and uh, properly uh, uh, diagnosed which will be done by an anti surgeon and of course they knew they do need uh, certain uh, simple investigations for confirming that it is sinusitis and not just a common cold now how do we treat sinusitis a common myth among most of us is that there is no permanent or proper solution for or proper treatment for chronic sinusitis which as i said is a myth because uh, with the latest uh, uh, investigation tools uh, for picking up these uh, conditions and more advanced and researched uh, drugs coming out uh, from from the laboratories we all need to realize that there is definitely a proper approach for uh, treating this condition so we all need to realize that uh, there is definitely a proper approach for identifying these problems and uh, confirming the diagnosis of sinusitis and treating it properly and thoroughly with all the uh, advances in the modern medicine and with newer drugs new pharmaceutical molecules coming up for uh, managing these conditions we the department of ent and head and neck surgery at medicover hospital secretariat address these problems and please do visit us should you have any queries on uh, this particular uh, aspect and also please do help your relatives and friends whoever are suffering from this problem